175 years ago, 5,000 armed working men marched down through the South Wales valleys to the centre of Welsh power at the time, Newport. They marched because they believed the political system had failed them. They marched because they wanted their voices to be heard. They wanted representation. They demanded the right to vote. Now, 22 of those men, Chartists as they became known, were shot dead here, outside the Westgate Hotel. So, who were the Chartists? Well, I'm certainly no expert, but uh, here's what I know. Quick history lesson about 250 years ago, the valleys were a very different place. They were a feudal area, they were rural, they were farmlands. But then at the end of the 18th century, the iron-rich land in the valleys started to attract industrialists from across the border for the first time. It became one of the most heavily industrialized areas in the world, and people were flocking to the valleys by the thousands. And so the towns we're now so familiar with started appearing for the first time. Towns like Ebervale, and Tredega, Rumney, Blyne, and Nantiglo. But the conditions in these towns that were just growing so quickly out of control were very, very harsh. The ironmasters had a tight grip on the workforce. And it was out of this desperate situation for the majority of people that a movement for change started to emerge. And that movement eventually became known as Chartism. To commemorate the Chartist March, a mosaic mural made of 200,000 pieces of tile and glass was erected here in the center of Newport in 1978. Now, at this point, I'd love to show you the mural. It was just over there. But unannounced, the mural was demolished. So I decided the most use I could be would be to write an open letter to the city of Newport, very grandly, and put it in the local paper, the South Wales Argus. I wrote that the vicious irony of something that was created to celebrate those who risked so much for the good of all, being wiped out without consulting the people themselves, is both absurd and tragic. Now, inevitably, I started getting drawn more into the story of the Chartists and what happened on the night of November the 3rd, 1839, here in Newport. I've come to the Welsh Oak Pub, once a Chartist meeting place, to meet historian Brian Davis. The country has no democratic system at all, as far as they are concerned. They don't have the vote. Even after the Great Reform Bill of 1832, a smaller proportion of the population had the vote than in apartheid South Africa. Eh? Mm. So it's only really the seriously well-off who've got the vote. In the 12 months before the march on Newport, these people, they campaign, they hold peaceful marches. Uh, huge numbers of them sign a petition to Parliament, which is thrown out contemptuously. A charter was drawn up, calling for six basic reforms of the unrepresentative electoral system. A vote for all men over 21. Secret ballot. Abolish the need for members of Parliament to own property a wage for members of parliament, equal constituencies, and finally, annual parliaments. The six points of the People's Charter. <laughs> 